Okay, I'm going to get started with another one of my CC playthroughs. So this is Evergreen Embassy, and okay, we're at 7,000 yards, and I'm just going to look up who the designer is because I don't think I'm aware of this. Uh, the name didn't leap out at me, which is nice. Um, it's good to get someone who's compl who's new. So CR True 25. I only got three posts on the forum, and yeah. So let's see what they've got. So this is really what this contest was about, the fact that we opened it up to just about everyone means we're going to see some things from people we've not seen them from before. And I accidentally hit the bu back button. So... What a helpful first few minutes of the video. Picture looks lovely. And so we're clearly in Swiss, um, based on planting... Ah! Uh, not clearly, but based on planting, I am guess we're Swiss. Um, the texture looks like it as well. So this is a tricky one because it's all about elevation. One set of tees is interesting. We'll probably come back to that. Um, yeah. So as with all the other videos I've done, we're going to go through. I will, this will be one of two playthroughs at least I do on each course. Um, I'll talk you through what I see on each hole, kind of the good and the things that maybe I would change. <coughs> and yeah, hopefully give you some pointers. So straight away, I would guess that we've been. Wa I mean, there's some stuff here. Now, my query to you would be whether all of the stuff really fits. I let the flyover play through. I like the fact that we're starting with a par five opener. It's good. It gives you, I guess, a chance. To, particularly in a CC contest, gives you a chance to hopefully start out with a birdie, and also potentially, I kind of make it a must birdie hole. I think the first hole should really set the stall for what you want this course to be about. So the things that I really like, I like the lighting, um, I like the way you framed with the trees, I think um, this planting underneath here, you probably want to clump it a little bit more, um, just the one bush and the one flower happening a couple of times is interesting, but I like the way you've done the bushes and the grass, maybe it's just not loading, yeah you've done a bit more of it, I suspect we're on multi blunt grass which is why it's not quite loading up, that's not really your fault. It's unfortunate it doesn't load up as much. Okay, so we have one T here, and then we have one T here, which presumably is the tenth. Are we near a clubhouse? Uh, we are not near a clubhouse. Okay. I would not have liked to have seen a clubhouse and feel that... I like that you've clearly got two holes going from the same location. That's really cool. It would be nice to see a green up here that's near a clubhouse, just in terms of really anchoring around as to a central location. Um, One thing... The, there's a couple of things that leap out to me off the first tee. One is that we've only got the one tee. If you'd had a few more down here, that would give you different options for a start, but also fill out some of this empty space. You can see that you've done some nice planting in round here, and that does draw your eye. And actually, the framing's pretty good. So these three trees kind of bring your eye through here. Um, but then we've got less of it, and I mean, there's not much underneath these trees. I'd want one of the things we tend to see from newer designs is that the underbrush underneath trees gets neglected a little bit and it just looks very empty. Um, I would also like to see you flatten out a lot of this land here. We're going downhill a lot and you've done some good job with the elevation change. The sight line is good, we can see where you want us to see, but I'd like to see a lot more of it smoothed out. Now I think we have... Now I'm probably going to be doing a tutorial on this soon. We've got an attempt at giving a couple of options. Oh, so the clubhouse is over here. Right, okay, so how have we gotten from there to there? I'd want to be seeing a way of getting you up there. Obviously we've got cart paths. Um, we've, got, we've got carts, but we don't have cart paths, which is, I guess, an interesting choice. I'd like to, if you're going to go with we're going into realism and you've got all of these carts which it, let's give it a way for them to get around like after I hit off this tee and yeah it doesn't matter in terms of playability but let, for the immersion of making me feel like I'm in a on a real course as much as I can be give me a way to get down to the fairway um, I'll be honest I've seen this sort of thing a lot in this contest I don't I don't love this um, I think the retaining wall looks kind of forced I don't the flowers because you haven't rotated them and they're all spaced really evenly and they're just in a straight line it just looks a little bit odd 
I'd be very, if you think about how it would be in nature, none of them would be exactly the same sizes. We'd be rotating them, they'd be differently. I think when you're planting, if you're going for this look, and actually I think you've pulled off what you wanted. I like the clubhouse, I like the little practice screens, and how you've done the marker post for um, flags is really cool. Look, there's some really nice touches of detail. I'd like to see you rotating these, it would really, really help. Um, now, onto the hole itself. We do have options, but they're very stark. It's either you hit here, in which case you're blocked out, so I don't get why I'd ever take this option when this way is going to be easier and I'm going to get a better shot into the green. Besides, if I, even if I do hit here, I'm running through either into a heavy rough or the bunker or hitting a rock. Um, and then we kind of come back to the rock and I don't understand what the steam is for. Have we got a waterfall coming through here and going down? If so, why? It doesn't. I don't get why the water would be coming that way. It doesn't really make sense. And it's actually the steam is just really off-putting. I'd rather see the fairway. Now, in terms of your fairway, you've done a decent job trying to flatten it out around the edges. I think we can do a little bit more. I think you can smooth your edges a little bit. You see how it goes here and then goes dead that way. A few. A few more spine points. You've done a really nice job here. Just kind of making smoother curves would be good. Now, landing zone is tricky, but I don't mind it. I guess my question is, if I don't want to take this drive on, I think uh, that's a bit narrow for me. What are my options? Well, if I'm hitting two with, then I'm in an even worse position. One iron's worse. Three iron, I'm pr with the elevation change. If I don't want to take on that drive, I'm probably dropping all the way down to five iron, which. I don't love. I think give me a bit more space over here that makes it a longer hole or a worse angle, that sort of thing. As is, we're going to hit a driver and uh, we're going probably left of the fairway. That's okay, it wasn't a good shot. Yeah, again, you can see how it's all dropped off here. I don't. Uh, I mean, I've missed the fairway, I deserve a bit of punishment. Sightline here is less good. I would be dropping this bit of land because we can't really see the green. Again, I mean, I've, I've missed the fairway, so it's partly on me. Um, and again, we get into the... One of the things we kind of see with new designs is the what-if options. So... Um, so one of the things we do see with new designs is that you design the hole as you want it to be played. So you've wanted it to be played as drive here, drive here, and then you hit the green. The question is, if I don't want to do something, what options are you giving me? So if I decide that, or in this case I can't reach, well, I'm just bumping up the fairway as much as I possibly can. It's not a very interesting shot. What I'd like to see is you giving me, I don't know, let's think, there's this bunker here. Or maybe there could be a bit of fairway here that gives me the best angle into that pin, and maybe I'm trying to hit it there for an interesting layout. Or there's a little bunker here, and I'm trying to thread it over that or short. But this is literally just how much up this fairway do I want to chew up. There's, I wouldn't say there's a great amount of interest to this shot, and I can't see the green either. And I can just hit an average swing, and there we are. Now the bunkers, I think... I will tend to talk a lot on the first few holes because I'll see things that we then see again. I like bunkers with little islands in them. I think the shapes you've got are a bit too small to do this with, or at least this amount of islands with them. And if you're going to go with the waste bunker sort of thing, maybe make it the whole way. I don't know. I just don't think we really see these bunker shapes much, which is not necessarily a don't do it. But if you've they just look a, they look they look quite messy. Um I'm cool with the bunker going here and wrapping around. I think that pimp's gonna get really interesting because of it and you can bring that slope in, so I like that. I guess I'm querying would you have those three islands in that close? I think you can it a lot of this is it could look neater. I like the I like the planting you've done down by the water. But you'll notice how that lovely bit of planting also highlights the fact that we've got a lot of emptiness up here. Sink some trees down. Make there's that one green bush in Swiss that you've used here, that dark green one. 
make that really big, sink it down, use it loads on these trees, you'll be amazed at the effect that that will have. Anyway, um, Interesting. Uh, I guess I could have laid back to give myself a full wedge, that's on me. Um, but I think this club is good. Maybe a touch, touch of loft. And this look is really nice into the pin. Mm, didn't want to, uh, didn't want to slay. So, I don't think it's a bad first hole. Oh, there's a couple of things I haven't touched on. Um, I don't, I can't say I understand the wind turbines and why they're there. Um, I don't think they're adding to anything actually off the tee, they were really drawing my eye. They're just right in your frame of vision, you can't see anything else other than them. I'm struggling a little bit with frame rate on this course, I don't know why. I suspect it's just because my computer's been on all day, and we're making a horrible birdie. So I might have to turn the graphics down, I don't know why that is. Okay, so now we go the other way. Oh yeah, this is the picture from your screen, your published shot. And I think I'm going to query a couple of the same things. Um, now there was one thing I didn't point out on the first that I did see, and that was these transitions, the way that your fairway blends into green. There's a good tutorial to this which I'll link into the comments as well. So I think that'll explain it really nicely. I'm just going to turn my graphics down. I wonder, have I still got them on yeah, Ultra, but nothing stupid. Um, again the waterside planting is really nice you just need to bottle that, extend it and again even with this vary it. Let's have some areas that are higher, some that are lower because it's rare that you'd see this all in one dead flat line. Now these bunkers, this bunker here I love. I really really like that one. That one looks kind of rugged but kind of you haven't got any of the islands in it. That I think fits the aesthetic of this course. This, this one less so, it's a bit more It's hom homogenous, it's one circular shape. I don't think through two holes you've really identified a style for bunkers. We've gone that to that to that. This is the one I'd like you to have used more of. Kind of slightly jagged edges, but overall a pretty roundish shape. I think that fits really nicely. Um, the wa again, we've got a waterfall that just it makes no sense. Where's the water going? Is it going underneath the fairway? Why is it here? Where's it? it it's not coming from anywhere. It, I don't understand why it was here. I also think your life will be a lot easier if you... The, I like that you're using global plants to kind of give me some colour, but it feels like you've thrown every single one at them. Be a bit more sparse with them. You've used the purple one already a little bit. Um, like this planting here works really nicely in Swiss. It's quite restrained, but there's pops of colour. This is like throwing everything at it. And I don't think you need it. Um, I like the effort that you've put in with the rock wall. I don't the path. I don't think it works for me, but I like that you put it there, um, and you've taken the time. This planting I like. Actually, the planting and the waterfall itself, I don't mind, but the position of it makes doesn't make much sense. Um, let's also talk about the green. We're two eight two hundred eighteen yards down 38 feet. It's quite a long shot. You're in a CC contest and you've made it like it's... This green I think is built to accept a 9 or an 8 iron and we're hitting 5 in. I think consider... I'm not saying it's impossible, far from it. Um, but I think let's consider our audience. I don't think I can hit that much better. Ah, and I'm noticing th this explains the first hole. We've also published a 187, which is punchy. I'd slow this down a bit. Um, I don't think Swiss really needs to go at 187. It, um, we also talked about this green being designed to accept a 9 or an 8 turn. You've actually got the ball, f the green running from front to back from here, which means that there is literally, I mean, unless you are just rolling up here and risking running back down, you're not getting near that flag. Now it's still birdieable, but 
I feel we've made it unnecessarily hard. Again, first, uh, this being a CC contest, and I haven't hit it. I think that's probably t that is too difficult. But there's a lot of nice stuff on here, and I think it feels like we've watched some of on Andre's tutorials with kind of the plants that you're going with. I like that the house was there for the previous shot. I don't think it makes as much sense on here. Okay, so now we're starting to use bushes and underbrush, but you've done it in a place where we can't really see them. Okay. So the first thing I think we've got is we've got a waypoint issue. In that, yeah, you can see your waypoint is here, I think. Which is why it's trying to make me hit driver through the trees and taking the camera on the flyover through the trees. Um, okay, let's have a look at some of the bunkers because now we've gone to circle bunkers, we've got a waste bunker over here, we've got that sort of one there. We're going very different again. I don't understand what this one is doing. Why is it here? We can't even s we can't see it from the tee. It's never in play. This makes yeah. There's no way to dress this up. This makes no sense. Lose it. Um, these two. You know what? I like that you're protecting the left hand side because if I want to lay back a little bit, I do think this hole is a bit overcrowded. I'd have liked to have seen you lose this bunker. Give me all the space in the world to play out right. But the way you've got the green angled actually and that slope means that. I probably want to be hugging the left a little bit more so that my approach shot gets away from this big red slope. Whereas if I'm out here then I've got to take it on and come down it. So I like that side of it. But you haven't really given me enough space to make the angles matter because I'm either hitting two wood here and then kind of running down or I'm hitting driver here and trying to run it on which I think is how you've designed the hole. It's designed as you want people to, do, to try that. And again we get to the case of, well, if not what? We do have an option here, but it's kind of, you're just clubbing down and going to a different location. It's not really a choice, it's more, and this is my thing with options, is am I choosing to go there or is it I've clubbed down so I have to go here? And in this case it's, it's the latter. Same if I club down I have to go here, here, here. And then this is, this bunker, I, yeah I'd lose. I guess it kind of protects against maybe leaving a full wedge in, but it's all... I mean, even if you're going for this bunker, which I wouldn't, I don't... this side has to be the high side so that it's facing the player. Don't don't hide it and make it a... It, I, yeah. Um, do we want to go for it? Might as well. Hmm. Okay. That felt disappointingly predictable. I think it's do it is doable with a fast fast and you've actually just got to be over here. So well, I'm going to tin cup it and we'll go again. <laughs> I've done it a little bit better. I think if you are going to give it that I can hit that shot, at least you've got to make that shot have a chance of hitting the green. The speed at which we're coming through yeah, maybe the players hit two wood and roll all the way down, but the speed I'm coming at, there's no way of holding this. Unless you want me to hit a fast fast and land it right there and roll up, but I think there's just there's only a couple of ways to play this hole. Which for a hole that seems built around potential options. Short par fours yeah. Um let's go to the green. And again we're at the same thing where there's stuff around it, the retaining wall, I'm okay with you will want to place like a bridge or something to hide this awkward bit where it's trying to work out what land it's rendering. So you put a bridge in amongst it um, and kind of covering this bit of land then that sorts that. There's a lot of work going into areas that we can't really see which I think is a shame. Um, so these rocks, again I think you've used, two, I think here you've used too many and made them too small. Making them bigger like this will help you. Uh, the green itself it's. I get that we've got a tier that's going to have a pin on it and that makes it play a little bit differently but it's really pretty all or nothing. It's either you're hitting this tier or you're not. I don't know, it feels a little bit forced. Um, 
So yeah, I think that hole's not far off being really good, but a couple of bits of sculpting in terms of how quickly the ball ran through, a couple of good decisions about where you're putting the bunkers, those sort of things. And where are we now? Okay, we're back to a mix of bunkering. <coughs> okay, the trees in, for me, the trees in the middle of this fairway have to go, and probably the bunker as well. This hole, I don't think you really know what you're trying to do with it. You can see it's playing stroke index one, and there's a reason. Is that either I'm hitting this drive, or I, or again we're back to. If I'm not hitting this drive, what am I doing? I'm hit, hitting back to here, and I'm leaving 220 into a par four. I can't even if I go here. Like what? What's the play? There's no. I feel like you're trying to give me a, a bit of width and options, but there's nothing that makes it. W viable. I also think if I hit driver I'm probably going through because that bunker's coming into play or I'm hitting the world's tiniest spot here. So I'm going to try to loft down to take some distance off. I mean we've done it but that shot is just it, it's too precise really for me. I do like this green contouring though. You can be a little mini punch bowl. I like the way that, that bunker sculpted into the green. I'm a big fan of that. I actually like this green site as well. I like the front bunker. You haven't gone crazy with this at all. Yeah, I'd have liked. To, I actually like the fence and the fact that you're hitting over it. I think that one bush should go so that I can see it more clearly. But I like this shot. I wish there was a better way to get to to this point, but. Hopefully we're in that punch bowl. Oh, that went nowhere. Huh, thought that was going further. I think the other thing to do is sink these bushes are catching my eyes. Sink those down into the ground, make them bigger. I mean, one of the things that is coming up again and again is that you have to... You really have to be planting underneath the trees. It's very, very apparent where we haven't. Oh my goodness, we're getting a lot of the tough holes out of the way first. Lovely lighting again. I I really like the trees in Swiss with this sort of hazy lighting. I think it can look really well. I like that we're playing around the outside of this big feature you've just used. Shortish par 4. Why is it playing stroke 3? Oh, we've got an illegal pin. That might be why. Um, But then I'm not playing on pin 1. You know what? This hole, I am far more okay with as an options hole. Oh, and I like that in the background, that's nice. I, I know it's just placed there, but it does grab your eye in just the right sort of way. I'd have probably gotten rid of... Have we got trees on top of it? Yeah, I'd have lost the trees buried in the middle of it. Um, now this hole... Uh, I mean, the bunkers again, I don't know what we're trying to do here. This one's better, but this one... Why are we placing bunker around these giant islands? There's no real reason for them. Um, we've just talked about an options sort of hole where there wasn't... Here, if I club down, I'm still kind of going, do I want to cut this corner or do I want to bail out a bit more over here? I far prefer this as a shot. Because you, at least you're giving me a choice as to where I want to go here or tighter in here and try and chew off a little bit more yardage. Now actually, with this pin... I'm trying to see things as I see them. Yeah, this pin is a bit illegal. I'd have moved it a little bit further. You don't need to get it that close to that slope. Um, I do want to be coming in from a, a bit more from the right-hand side. But it's going to be okay regardless. I've got a pitch shot in. I can funnel it off. I've got a flop. Hmm. This again, it's a nice little green site. I think, 
I do feel that you can make your playable surfaces generally a bit give them a bit more breathing room, move the trees a bit further away move the mounds a little further away and that will help you tremendously and we got the fast we thought we would and that's not too bad Mm. Don't know whether it's going to break or not. Yeah, because it was all going left at my feet, I wasn't sure whether it was going to go left at the start or not. That's fine. Again, I think we can use the flattening at the back. It would really help you. It's it's all looking a bit bumpy for my tastes. Yeah, and we've got the same here. We've got a, ju a green... I think this hole needed redoing, if I'm honest. The main re and I'm saying this without having seen up here, but oh yeah, definitely. Okay, we've got an illegal pin, which is not. I mean, they, they happen, and it's probably it's not very illegal, so I don't really mind it. But I think this is evidence that this green, for the shot it's trying to accept, this is all way too small. Because really, I'm just going to be happy if I hit this green. I'm not there's no way I'm getting it to stop on this tiny tier. Because again you've got it flowing off the green afterwards. Um this feels like a course that is almost designed to protect par and just don't. Oh we've got a slow. And yeah, that's kind of what was gonna happen. Um having said some of your surfaces need to get bigger, this one same thing again. For the length of shot we're hitting it in. I'm going to have to land it here just to end up on the back of the green, which means if the pin's at the front, I'm ending up at the back of the green. If the pin's here, I'm ending up at the back of the green. It's the same shot every four rounds, just where I'm putting to is changing. I you've got to make this green bigger. It's too small for the shot it's trying to accept, let alone that you've then tiered it. It can maybe be this sort of size if it's all flat, or if it's all sloping back to front. Um, this bunker's too small to work. This one's got the two little weird islands again in it and it's gotten really tiny here and then we've got the really smooth one compared to these two mm, I think we go back to what we said on the first make a choice and stick with it I don't like that this pin is on a, on a mound I think you've had a couple of them and I, it's not a, for me it's not a good way to do pins uh, because if you miss it whichever way you're going you're just going back and forward and yeah, I mean, I should be hitting a better shot, but that pin doesn't really offer me any. So now we're putting back up, and we're going to have the same same thing. It's kind of, I go defensive at it, but I've got to get up the tier. And yeah, I've hit putt too hard, but I think... kind of getting the same shot over and over again because there's no forgiveness anywhere on the screen at least with this pin in particular I, I will be the first time that I'm not playing this well but you've not helped me hit any decent shots there because everything was just so severely punished I mean, okay so here we've got a huge elevation change the same things we need to have some stuff underneath the trees because all I can see is fairway and Okay, and we're going miles round. So we have no bunkers. This has now gotten really wide. Okay. So we're actually going... Yeah. I Personally, I don't really like 90 degree dog legs. Um, that's kind of a personal opinion, but also... I mean, let's say we're into a wind. Oh, okay, we're going very fast. Fine. They're just... You don't really see very many of them in real life because they're in an inefficient way of using space for a start. But also, I'm basically just how much of the corner am I cutting? Your sculpting here has gotten really harsh. This needed flattening out and bringing down, and... Yeah, this is... This is actually just you've placed fairway here and you haven't flattened it at all. Um, which is why it's looking... You see the edge of the fairway is auto flattened, but the rest of the land hasn't. So it kind of stops auto flattening here and it gives you that really ugly kind of the land's just dipping down really suddenly and then going across. 
Um, again, this shot is kind of just let's hit at a green. There's not much to make me think. Um, there's some big contours, but it's also really throwing me. I have said make everything bigger. I think you've now gone too far the other way. This is those surfaces up to the green were too big. Um, in terms of what I do like, I like that we're coming back towards a feature. I think you've actually rooted this quite nicely. Um, mm -hmm, let's go with that. Hopefully we'll get one of those shots back. I think with a bit more practice with the tools you'll be able to make more of that green site because it's, it's on a really nice potential spot overlooking a couple of other holes could be a real high point. The back-to-back -back pie fives is interesting. Um, I'm not sure whether this, but I assume this bunker's for another hole. Again, it's messy. Same thing with these. I don't. I, this bunker style isn't really working for me. I'm afraid. We've got another bit where we're dipping suddenly. I th your sculpting was better than this at the start. It's. Um, we've definitely gone up in scale, which I appreciate. We've gone wider. Um, I don't think we've had any sort of consistency with it. So we're now at what? What are we saying? That's a hundred. We're looking at like sixty yards width, fifty here. But again, I guess the hit, the playable width is quite tiny, so maybe that does fit. I think I just my my main takeaway message is you've got to give people a bit more space, um, particularly as we're in a CC contest, which is aiming for courses to be used on the lower tours. And if I hit either of these, I'm blocked out by trees. Unless I'm hitting a fast round here, but even then I'm blocked out by the bear tree. I think I'm probably going to play this... Th well, I want to play this as a three-shotter, but I'm looking ahead to my third shot, and it's going to be what part of this bit do you want to lay up into? Again, I feel like my hand is forced into hitting driver. I don't really want to hit it, but I've got no... I don't feel I've got another option. Actually, maybe we can just go out of here. I felt like I was going to run through, and I have. I mean, we'll give it a go. Oh, we've got a very fast. Great. Well, that's on me. Oh, this bit isn't out of bounds. But I am still absolutely screwed, so we're going to be taking it unplayable. Yeah. I mean, again, but again, we're. Why am I going for it? Well, in this sense, it's because. I might as well go for it and miss the tiny sliver of fairway up here than miss the tiny sliver of fairway here. There's a, okay, it's a little bit more narrow here, but not much. There's no reason for me to lay up back here, and here at least I get to hit across the tier. So I'm not really making this choice because I think it's a good choice. I'm making it because it's there's no you've not I you haven't really given me an alternative, and. I would have appreciated somewhere to lay back to that was a full wedge or that had a but if if I was laying back to a full wedge on this pin well I mean it's tucked right up against this tier a full wedge isn't doing me much good into that there's a horrible swing Hole nine. And it's gonna be it's the same I can tell you already, it's the same comment. You put trees way too close to the playable surfaces, I think. Although maybe this one's shorter, maybe we're driving to around here. I feel everything is just too cramped. And that's limiting a lot of the options that you've got. Yeah, again, I mean I can't really hit driver because I'm going through and into the water. 
so we're hitting two we're down to here but we're also trying to stop it short enough that we're getting it I think my play is one iron maybe in this window it's two wood but yeah this window is two wood but it's just like it's all requiring too much precision and again you've got to go back to what was the contest for and I get this is new and we're going to have some stuff mm. and we've hit a tree because there was a tree right. it's requiring far too many perfect shots Still, you make a four. But again, I think that whole the idea of that hole has some good to it. It's just all too tight, um, which is like I want to be thinking about things like, oh, well, how far should I be hitting it? But because the window for success is so narrow, it's making it just uh, it's a bit of a painful experience because I feel like I'm trying to hit to a perfect number every time. Same thing with this tree. It's c I can already tell we're block we're being blocked out by a tree that we don't need to be there. Because if I'm hitting driver, then I'm going to this tiny sliver of fairway and maybe running down. So I'm going to go to two wood, and maybe that's the club. Maybe it isn't. So okay, we've hit this and we've hit the flat portion of fairway. And. Our reward is trying to hit six iron into this little sliver of green and trying to avoid a tree. Well, we've hit the swing we want and we've avoided the tree. Okay, we do have a part. I feel like, unlike you, on some of your previous holes, that second hole, just seeing that in the background reminds me of you did put a lot of effort into making those early holes really look good. There's a bit more of it here. This course badly needed more of this, much more, just to give me things to look at. Again, okay, I like the options potentially here. I like that behind long of the green is death. This hole I'm liking. I think this hole makes a lot more sense. So, we've got a drivable par 4, but if I go for it and go long out of bounds, perfect. This is good. Right. Let's let's work with this one. This is one of the potentially one of the best holes you've had so far. So, let's now say two wood. Can I go for it? Well, maybe, but you've sculpted this very harshly, so I can't bounce it on. I'd have liked for this to be flatter, so I can consider, well, with this wind up here, Maybe if I hit a fast and bounce on, that would be good. Okay, so two woods out. One iron. Okay, then these bunkers and are coming into play. But again, I can't really take that because of this sliver of fairway. I'd have liked to have seen... Give me more fairway. I'm sorry, you can't see that. Give me more fairway over here. Remove one of these bunkers and go wide. And then I've got a narrow angle in, and that's a choice. But I'm still clubbing down just because I'm running out of space. Okay, so now we get to this one. Well, can I hit it to here? But if I do, I'm blocked out by a tree. Or I'm taking on a tree there. What about back to here? Here's good. I can do that. But again, I have to drop to 5-iron before it's not hooking the ball ridiculously and worrying about runouts. Or I think the problem we've got here is you're using trees far too often as hazards. There's no way I'm going for this. So we're dropping down to five iron, which slightly pains me. I would have liked to have taken on more, but I just don't really think. Although there's that space, so much of it is unattainable. Mm, that needs to go a little. 
I like the lighting on this hole. I like that you've done the planting behind the green. It's a shame we can't really see more of it. And again, I'd have liked you to have done some of that planting further down. Um, bunker sculpting we haven't really looked at. They generally... They sit okay. That one sits nicely and has been sculpted. These ones you haven't sculpted. So you haven't run a flan brush through. At least it doesn't look like you have. This one you have and it's sunken down and it's this one's just a bit awkward in that it's kind of all falling in on itself. You want to have a low side somewhere but yeah I think that bunker was just pretty doomed from the start in terms of where you put it. And that's something you'll get better at with practice. Well that's just not turned at all. Hmm, that's irritating. I mean, again, I think the ideas are okay. Uh, uh, better than that, the ideas can be good in some on some of the holes. I can see what you're trying to do. You just need to get a more of a handle on forgiveness and like, options of what if it goes wrong. This one's better in that, okay, oh, I like this. I like the green site. The fairway sculpting again has gotten away from you. And that will and what you really need to do here is the fourth page of brush is the fuzzy brush, top left. Get that on flat and make it quite wide so that one edge is here, one edge is about here, and click, then move it down a little bit, click, 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 and it will slowly make it a nice smooth surface. Just spend generally for new guys with the tools, spend a load of time getting comfortable with that brush in particular because it's your that's your bread and butter same thing with this bun bunker I don't love the shape in the middle I don't, I don't think it's really sure what it's trying to be this green site has the potential to be good I like the little mounds that you've gone here but the trees around it make them look very weird I think if you were going to go with lots of mounding and what have you the rest of the land has to mirror that as it is they're just kind of there. Um, it's blind which I don't love, I can't see from here what's... I mean obviously we have the scout count but I can't see where we're going. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate the idea of those mounds being there, I just think they can fit a little better than they do currently. And there's a lot of this green that is dead flat, which I'd have liked us to avoid. So we've had back to back fives, we've now got back to back threes. You've got another uphill one where I can't you can't see what's going on on the green. Well what have we got here? We've got a split green. I mean yeah, I guess it's a thing, but this doesn't really make sense. So if we land on this green because we're going to this one, are we chipping? Are we putting? I mean, we have to chip, but... And again, we look at the shot we're hitting. We're hitting a... Okay, it's a 6 iron, uh, an 8 iron even. I don't think I'm stopping that on here. Oh, and again, it runs off the back. I think this needs, this needs playtesting. Now, as you can see, there is no way I'm landing on that. I've hit that into the bank at the front. There is just no way we're staying on that. And if you, okay, maybe you've done it a couple of times in playtesting, but if it's only happening a couple of times out of every twenty, ditch the shot. It doesn't, it doesn't translate. Because when you put it in with wind as well, there's been too much precision required on this this course for really any for any level, let alone. CC. And following that really tricky par 3, we've now got a 243 yard par 3. I like that you can see more of this one. The water, I'd have liked you to have done some of your planting in there. Um, you also need to smooth out the edges coming into here or you get that. That Swiss unfortunately does this really ugly brown colour. But it looks a little bit better down here and you've planted over it better before. That tree where it is, I mean I don't like that tree where it is in terms of playability wise because if the wind's coming from 
the right that's really causing me a load of issues and the trouble with this let's just look at the pin anyway so we're on a crown on a 245 yard hole going down 57 feet anyway that's difficult enough but you've also chucked a tree there that I have to be wary of and water and a back bunker and it all flows off and I can't land it short and run it on because first of all we're in a gully and secondly there's water and the fairway cuts him and honestly I am going to lay up and we can't uh. this hole is another one that just needed I'm, I'm afraid it just needed completely redoing it's as you can see it's far too punitive the green size is tiny this green size for a wedge shot okay I still wouldn't love the tier that falls off on every single side because you've what you've done is just taken the circle brush I'm gonna guess because it's all breaking away from the pin I'm gonna guess the third one on page one on the little dot in the middle most of it fuzzy and raise that and then a bit of the second one but we're into just guarding par with our lives here and it's not fun playing holes like playing playing that hole was not in, for me enjoyable because I don't think I ever had a shot at getting the green and it's already like par 3 should be your standout a downhill par 3 with that water right let's make that a really heroic shot where the water's sort of in play but people want to take it on if I'm laying up on a par 3 because I genuinely think that's the best option then we've gone wrong now I like this green site I like okay we've got the green's gone tiny which is why you've got an illegal pin because you're struggling to find we're going to have a pin there we're going to have a pin there and we're going to have one at the back I would guess um But again, we're we're now at just let's hit to the middle of the fairway, and it's a question of just can you, which is fine. There's a place for that kind of golf, but then it's can you can we hit to a tiny pin? But I do appreciate that I have that little tier to funnel me down if I hit the right sort of spot. I mean, with that one, I wasn't. Try I'm not too fussed about that running through. I w wasn't trying to land it short. I was trying to land it on. Just wasn't very good. And again, the pin is illegal. You saw it from the previous two shots. Not because it's not really fault of the pin itself and where you put it. The problem is that you've tried to put a slope on a green that is too small for it. So you can see it here. The like, I like this slope, but you can't give it justice because you've made both sides so small. This green needed to be double the width. Bring it out to here. Not double, maybe that's a bit too much. But double would be a good starting point. About to here. Okay, we've got another par 3 coming up. Uh, okay, again with 200 yards. Again, same comments. It's too bare under here, flattening. And we've now put a bunker in the middle of the green. We're now getting towards the sake of it. We're doing stuff for the sake of stuff. Like we've just put a bunker in the green, middle of the green because we've seen it on one hole. You're not worried, really querying whether it fits or makes sense. Um, now, it, and again, the green is all funneling off everywhere. Hey, we got a birdie. Okay, next little bit. So, again, the tree bunker islands. I get that you're giving me an option, but why would I ever go out here? 
just lose this bit of fairway or make it wider or make it matter. Um, I quite like the stream coming in. And um, we're back to the bunker style that, yeah, these aren't perfect, but these shapes are better, I think. We've now got a dead circle green, which I don't, I can't say I love. Weirdly, I, I don't, the, yeah, I'm not sure I understand that bunker position there. Yeah, this is another pin I I I have no real I don't think there's anything I can say about this, unfortunately, that's good. It's either you hit this tiny tier that's really raised up or you get well, but hitting it's gonna be impossible. Unless we're bouncing it right in the slope and happening to roll just over there. Cause let's see if I'm wrong. Nope, yet again we're rolling off like you've got too many pins like this where it's on a tiny tier and it's really punitive front but it's also even if you do get it up here you're rolling off the back because you're not giving me any help and if I do go over the back it's going to be worse because I'm chipping back down towards this so we're just going to we we end up basically going well you know what I'm accepting I'm going to be short and we hit that tier and we roll back and it's really boring because I've got no cho choice here I'm not saying the hole is really boring, but where you've put the pin and the fact that you've given me no chance makes it a boring shot. Because straight from there, from that position in the middle of the fairway, as soon as I see the pin, I know my best shot is just hit to the bottom, two putt par, move on. And it's not because that was a tactical decision because I deemed the pin too difficult. I'm fine with me going like that, saying that pin was too difficult for me to attack, so I'm not going to. There's literally no chance of going it. So it's not as if there's even a risk reward because there's no there's no point in taking the risk. You've got to give me a chance. This sort of bunker is better in size, um, and this is a really good looking ending hole. I like that we're bringing back to this. This is good. The sizing on this hole is much better. If this was one of the last holes you made, then we're getting somewhere because this hole makes sense and I wish the course had all been like this. Because I've got a fairway, yeah okay it's basically still can you hit the fairway or not. And yeah we've still got some blindness but the surfaces make sense in terms of their size. And you've given me a layup zone so that when I miss the fairway like I just have, I've still got an option that is not just going for the green and missing, which I appreciate. I think you could have made the layout zone a bit more interesting. I think bunker sculpting, particularly on the left hand one, you can see it's all dipping down. We can do a little bit better. I like that we're in a little bowl again. Again, unfortunately the pin is illegal. Yeah, I think this is a solid ending hole. Um, I wonder why it's playing stroke 2. I can only presume you've put a you put a pin in somewhere that's difficult slash impossible. I like the slopes on this green though. Again, it's a little bit too small to house the slopes that you've put on there, but there we are. Anyway, so I'm going to go through um, just briefly the judging criteria for this one. So, playability and shot values. To what extent did we were we given options, or did the course dictate the proper play throughout? Was it different types of holes, etc.? I mean, there were very few options that were legitimate options. There were a lot of options that were forced. It was either, um, it was just you can or you can't. There was, and if you were dropping down a club, it was well, where can you hit that club rather than me choosing where to go. When there were split fairways, it almost always led to me being blocked out by trees. And I hope that kind of what I've been saying as I've been going through has helped with some of that. Please ask questions if you've got any. Um, technical execution. Cool. Technical execution, the major things that leapt out to me are bunkers. I think you can do some work on bunker sculpting. The transitions into greens, um, the sculpting. Uh, I mean, the transitions into greens are minor points. The, um, it's just something that I remember. But the sculpt. But the sculpting on the sides of fairways and the way it kind of dipped down very dramatically and not flattening out those fairways. 
those are the things that I'd really be trying to pick up on. Again, also technical execution, the greens come into that. The fact that they're so small and flowing away from you, and some of the pins are just utterly inaccessible. I think that really doesn't doesn't help it for me. Um, aesthetics and environment. Th some of the bits of planting you did were really nice. This screenshot we're looking at here on the left hand side, this bit was nice. I would have liked, there needed to be much more of this. Um, planting underneath the trees and things like that. Um, planting in areas where which aren't definitely in play is, m is a must if you want your course to look good and feel good. Um, it's not just an optional extra because there was just so much emptiness here. Um, routing flow cohesion variety of holes. Let's look at the distances and things. I mean, the variety is actually not a long course, um, and it's still par 72. And most of that's because your par fives weren't very long. Um, we had a number of par fives. What? So, I think that's partly where our low yardage comes from. Total. What really struck me was that the par threes were just nigh on impossible. Um, we had almost every single one was built around protecting par, so 230, so 200, 200, uh, 240, 200, and then there was that 140 one which had this, the pin on that tiny little tier that we couldn't reach. I really encourage, and the same with the, sh um, there were a couple of holes that really had good, uh, good promise, 11 had good promise, there was your two shorter par fours, 11 and 3, I thought had the most promise, and 18 is a nice 5. But really the ideas were just, if they were there, they were kind of swamped by the fact that you made everything either too tight or too small or too, there were too many trees in the way or whatever it was. It was just, Im it was impossible bar hitting perfect shots, which for a CC course, you've got to be expecting that people are missing tempo and things like that. Um, so yeah, I hope more than anything, clearly you're a newer designer and trust me all of our first courses had things that we would work on stuff like this so I've tried to pick out really everything I can and give you justifications as we're going um, please do continue designing and I hope you get the bug for it because there were some nice ideas in there it's just le part of it's learning the software and getting used to it, editing and what have you um, but please do um, get in contact if you have any further questions I really hope this helps and yeah I mean good luck um, so take care.